Hey everybody, this is Osprey Eye from MyChartCoach.com and we're going to take a look at some of the ticker symbols that finished in play on Friday. Okay, uh, first up, let's take a look here at this DCTH chart. Uh, excellent follow through on Friday. As you can see, it closed up 48%. So congrats to everybody that caught the alert on Thursday. Um, we were all over this play on Thursday on this uh, big candle here. The, the close on Thursday above the middle Bollinger Band and the top of the descending red resistance line signaled more upside potential. What we were looking for on Friday was a break above the 50-day simple moving average at 0.050. And there was actually a gap up open above that level. The share price did run all the way up to this eight resistance zone. If you can look back here in uh, March and April, eight was a big support zone and then it broke and it became resistance. It also hit this seven resistance zone. Uh, this is another level that was, uh, um, you know, th that, that provided resistance once eight broke. Um, it's holding the, the, the six level. As you can see, six was a big support here. Uh, uh, for Monday, on a pullback, if the, if the share price does pull back, what bulls would like to see is, is the 50 simple moving average hold at 0 0.050. Um, if it does break below, then the, the, this, there's a gap between high of day on Thursday and low of day on Friday. If the share price drops down, it could below the 50 simple average, it could fill the gap. A gap fill would be good because that would uh, alleviate any reason to come back on the chart. And so we're looking at a potential gap fill and a reload off of EMA4 at 0 0.043. And so uh, that is going to be the uh, target if the share price pulls back. If it can drop down to 0 0.043, it could fill the gap, and then we'd like to see it push back above the 50-day simple moving average. If it can turn the 50-day simple moving average into support and break 0 0.08, our next target's going to be all the way up here at the 100 simple moving average at 0 0.127. You know, we've been saying 13 is the target. It was at 13 on Friday, but it's coming down. Now it's at 12.7. So if 50 holds, 100 becomes the target if it can break above 8. Fail to push through 7 resistance on, on Monday, then we're looking for a potential drop down to fill this gap and a bounce off of EMA4. As long as the middle Bollinger Band holds 0.029, the uptrend should continue. Bulls want to see this red descending line turn into support. As you can see here, there was giant volume behind the move. So a big volume. The uh, <coughs> giant volume bar on Friday here 574 million shares traded that is like huge volume and then there was this uh, big pullback off of high of day um, that shows profit taking and possibly dilution so you always like to see a strong close this is what we call a climax spike as you can see here there's three green volume bars in a row the run actually started on Wednesday it closed up on Wednesday so Wednesday Thursday Friday you have this huge run up to key resistance and then the pullback forming a long upper wick with the giant volume bar those are that that's considered a climax spike and that's a signal to lock in gains and look for a reload lower. As you can see here when uh, our RSI on Friday was at overbought levels when I posted this chart and then now it's pulled back below 70 and Fasto was at 95 when it was hitting up here at 8.85 and then it pulled all the way back you know it was maxed and now it's back below 80. So at 68 now the indicators have reset and there's more juice to run. So uh, you know th this is a very strong uptrend. We, we, we know we're thinking the uptrend can continue it just might need to pull back and fill that gap before it heads higher. If you look here at this DCTH 15 minute chart, you'll see why we are on the sidelines now. Um, it, it, if you notice here, the, the candles were writing EMA 4 support higher during the strong run. Um, they did test EMA 8 down here and it held on the 8th, and then the run continued. Now, this candle right here at 1215, the, 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 the close below EMA 4, that was a signal to lock in gains if you didn't lock in gains back here at the high of day. That was a signal the chart was cooling down. Notice how EMA 4 turned into support or into resistance and it signaled more downside risk. Now on this candle here, if you didn't exit on the EMA4 break, you needed to get out here when middle Bollinger Band support broke. That was a signal of downside risk. Um, you know, we always like to get out at EMA4. That gives us a chance to reload off the middle Bollinger Band if it holds. It failed to hold and it dropped all the way down and bounced off the lower Bollinger Band. If you notice the lower wick on this candle here at 2 o'clock and the large volume bar, that shows loading. So people played the bounce off of 5. People loaded the 5. They ran it back up to 7 and then they locked in gains again at 7. 
margin. You know, that's a huge percentage gain between five and seven. And then the share price failed to break the uh, the middle Bollinger Band and this red descending resistance line. Look how look how the, the, the share price kept hitting this red line and pulling back. And then once it bounced off of five, it worked its way all the way back to that previous red line, hit resistance and pulled back. That's a signal that there's more downside risk. So what are we looking for on Friday? We're looking at this target right here, the 50 simple moving average at 0 0.0519. That needs to hold. It needs to bounce off that level and then and then get back above the middle Bollinger Band to, to head higher. If, if the 50 simple moving average breaks on the, the, the 15 minute chart, then you're talking about a potential drop all the way down to the 100 SMA at 368. So yeah, so uh, this was a great multi-day run. Um, you know, the people in our chat now are on the sidelines and we are looking for a reload lower. Um, if it does break above seven and it gets running again, then that's a signal to re-enter for the push higher. So right now, if you're sitting in cash, you're in the sweet spot because you could either load on the dip once it finds support, or you can load on the break above resistance. So, uh, you know, the breakdown on the chart on Friday was signaling to go to the sidelines. Okay, now look at TWMJF. This is also uh, ticker WEED dot CA on stock twits weed. Um, this is canopy growth. This is the number one Canadian company, uh, number one marijuana company in Canada, arguably the number one cannab uh, cannabis company in the world. Um, you know, they have over 500,000 square feet of canopy space planted for this growing season and they are expanding their operations huge. They have an operation right now in Chile where they pulled off a 300 pound black box. They've got an operation in Germany where they're actually sending marijuana. They're growing in Canada to Germany to German patients and it's all all totally legal. This is an international marijuana company. These guys are taking over the world. If you check into it, you will see they are growing through acquiring other cannabis companies. They are acquiring Canadian companies that already have licenses to grow. These guys are huge. This is the Coca-Cola. This is the Pepsi. This is the top dog of the marijuana industry. TWMJF Canopy Growth. We called bounce off five. We were put out signals and uh, we put out alerts that five was the reload zone. We were looking for a bounce off the 300 day simple moving average. And like magic, what happened? It bounced right off our five target and closed at 583. Very sweet percentage gains for those that are in our chat. Those are on our website. Those are following our plays on a daily basis. This is another big winner for our members. Um, notice that there was a close above the middle Bollinger Band. That is signaling more upside potential and a possible new uptrend starting. If you look back here and in uh, April, there was a close on April 10th above the middle Bollinger Band, and it fell to hold. It did hit the 100-day, it closed above the 100-day simple moving average as well, and the share price pulled back. So what we're looking for on Monday is a bullish change in trend. We want to see another close above the middle Bollinger Band, and that level to turn into support. If it turns into support, a new uptrend should begin, and our next target's going to be the 50 and 200-day simple moving averages. Here, we're basically calling it at 650. 650 is our next target. Um, we see, uh, uh, you know, there could be an easy move up to that level. Um, you have a PSAR bull flip down here. You've got <clears throat> MACD bull crosses on on uh, uh, bo both time frames. Um, so, so, so the the, the MACD bull crosses, the PSAR bull flip, those are all signals the chart is heating up. What we, what bulls want to see is they want to see RSI get above 50 and get in the 50 to 70 bull zone. And then we've got uh, Fasto up here still in the bull zone. It's getting ready to hit 80. So keep an eye on TWMJF, W-E-E-D dot C-A or dot T-O, trades on the Toronto um, um, Stock Exchange. Very, very uh, good upside potential from this $5 level in our opinion. If the 300-day simple moving average breaks for D TWMJF. Our next target is is four dollars, and there, there a, you know we could show you on some other charts how four is a, is a really big uh, support zone. Okay, so yeah, so this is for us TWMJF is more of a long term uh, marijuana play because it is the leader of the pack. All right, let's look at APTO, and yeah, you can read Seeking Alpha about all their overpriced valuations and, and about how uh, you know they're saying how uh, canopy growth is crazy overvalued, but they're the leader of the pack. They're number one. Think about Tesla and their valuation. Think about what's going on in the mar marijuana industry and about how it's just starting and it's in its infancy and it's only going to grow and expand. And, and, and the safest place to be is with the leaders of the pack. You know, just think about, uh, you know, what, what does Jim Cramer always say? Best of breed, all right? Everybody rips on Cramer all the time, but, but you know, his advice is correct on the marijuana sector. Focus on the best of breed in the sector right now and you should do well. Okay, let's look at APTO. Okay, this is another stock 
that performed really well for us. Another big winner. Congrats to everybody that's following our charts and TA. We put out alerts here on this candle here on the break above the middle Bollinger Band and the 100-day simple moving average telling everyone that this stock was in play and ready to head higher. It took a pause on Thursday. That happens many times. This red candle was just a pause candle. And then on Friday, it continued the bullish move higher. Um, you know, this, this was a very easy setup, easy money in our opinion. Um, the charts were signaling that, that it was ready to head higher. We've got a bullish volume spike on Friday. MACD bull crosses on both time frames. There's a parabolic SAR bullish flip. The green dots are now below the con candles, signaling a possible new uptrend starting. You got a bull cross on ADX. You have RSI in the 50 to 70 bull zone. And now you have FASTO above 80. Our next target is the 130 to 132, 133 resistance zone. We're looking for a test of this high close here on May 4th and the 200 day simple moving average. That is our next target and we're sticking to it. Congrats to everybody that is following our charts and TA. We have nothing but winners every single day. That's how we roll. Winners, winners, winners. Okay, DXTR, another stock that was on our radar. We are looking for the, the, the technical setup to signal upside potential. This is a, an old chart. And so I just want to show you where our TA was as this chart was setting up. Notice it was at over oversold level, levels on FASTO and at FASTO and RSI. And now RSI just broke above 30. That is a signal the chart is heating up. You've got a FASTO above uh, uh, 20, the oversold line. Now what we want to see is FASTO get above 50. Um, the, another uh, bullish development was the uh, um, bullish crossover here on ADX, the plus, plus DI crossed um, uh, ADX to the upside. And now you have minus DI and plus DI pinched. If the green line can cross the red line to the upside, that will signal more upside potential. There was a parabolic SAR bullish flip. Notice the green dots flip below the candles for this first time since the big drop. That's a huge uh, signal that there's more upside potential. Now, now, what we liked about this move was the close above this dotted purple line, which is the middle Bollinger Band at 0 0.20. That is the key level to hold on Monday. If it breaks, I mean, it, it looks like this gap is filled here. If there is, it's a micro gap in between high of day on Thursday and low of day on Friday. Going forward, is as long as that middle bullish band holds, there is more upside potential, and our next target is going to be the bottom of the gap. That is the big level to break, this red line. If they can get above this red line, then we could be talking about a gap fill and a potential run up to 40. So first things first, it needs to turn the middle bullish band into support to get a new uptrend going. This is called a bullish kicking reversal pattern. Notice how the, it was a gap up open and then it closed higher on the day. So this is a very strong reversal pattern on a giant volume spike. Notice there was two recent MACD bull crosses. The chart is heating up here. There was some profit taking with the long upper wick, but it did close above the middle Bollinger Band. As long as 20 holds the middle Bollinger Band, then there will be more upside potential. If there's a close below, that will signal more consolidation and downside risk. Okay, here's another winner from our chat on Thursday. Posted an alert that the shipping sector was heating up on Thursday. Told everyone to keep an eye on plays in the sector. And then I pointed out N NM as the stock with the good setup. And check it out. It closed up 13% today. I'm telling you, it pays to be in the chat. It only costs you 50 cents to 60 cents a day. We're talking 15 to $20 a month. That is nothing. For, for 50 cents, the amount of money that you give the, the homeless guy in front of the grocery store, the spare change in your pocket, you could have had the alert to load this on Thursday, and you would have been up 15% on Friday. It's really, really easy for us. We find winners all day long. Why did we think this was going to go up on Friday? Because of this close here. Look at this candle. It closed above EMAs 4 and 8. Notice how the candles have been riding EMAs 4 and 8 resistance for, for many weeks lower. The close above those levels was signaling a, a, a bullish change in trend. Notice there was also a PSR bull flip. You had uh, MACD bull crosses on both time frames. These are all signals the chart is heating up. And you have big volume behind the move today or on Friday. And then what we were looking for is a close above the middle Bollinger Band. That did happen. At 125 is the key level to hold. Now we want to see a break above the 300-day simple moving average at 134. If it can do that, our next target is going to be 150 and the 200-day the simple moving average. What we want to see now is the middle Bollinger Band turn into support and a new uptrend begin. If you see here, uh, FASTO looks really good at 61. There's a lot of room until the 80 overbought level. And for RSI, we want to see that get above 50. Notice how it broke above 30. That's signaling the chart is heating up. Now, if it gets above 50, it'll show that the bulls are strong and in control. And then I'm going to leave you with one more chart here to look at. This is GAHC. This is an over-the-counter stock. We've been using it as a little case study on how to play the bounce. Um, the reason why we're on this play is because of all this big volume. Notice the big volume and the big move. You know, this was a giant winner. It went from, you know, a penny all the way up to uh, seven and a half cents in just a couple of days. It's now pulled back and it's done a FIB retrace. And then this candle here caught our eye. Notice the 
long lower wick and the big volume spike. We are looking for a bounce on Friday because the 15-minute the chart it heated up on Thursday and it turned bullish. And then we did get our bounce. Notice that there's a higher low, the higher low from Thursday. The higher low creates swing point number three, which does signal a potential reversal here. What needs to happen, it needs to get back above EMA4. That's the key level to break at 0 0.0386. If it can get above that, then we're talking about a run back up to the upper Bollinger Band, back up to five and potentially testing this this uh, high close here between these two candles. So so five, five, five will be back on deck if it can get above this four resistance. If you look here while we're uh, on this play, this was the chart we were working on on Thursday. And you notice that there was this long downtrend on the 15 minute chart. And then on Thursday, we had this uh, um, break above resistance. Um, yeah, if you look right here, you'll see that, that it busted above the middle Bollinger Band on Thursday. And that was a signal that the chart was heating up right here when you had these candles break above. And then notice that there, there was this descending resistance line. And then this candle here broke above it. And it actually closed above the descending resistance line. What we were looking for on Friday was uh, the candles forming above this green line, which is the 50 simple moving average. Notice how they busted above that level at the open. They ran up to the 100. The 100 simple moving average at 0.0414 is the key level to break on this chart and then it pulled back but it held the 50 and that's what we are looking for as long as the 50 simple moving average at 0 0.0363 holds on the 15 minute chart there will be upside potential it does need to get back above the middle Bollinger Band at 0 0.0402 if it can do that and then push through the, the 100 day simple moving average we're talking about a run back up here to the fives okay and so if you look at this uh, closer look at the 15 minute chart this is the uh, chart we were working on on Friday as you can see here when it broke above the 50 simple moving average it, it, it topped, pulled back, and then it formed a double top, and then it broke below the middle Bollinger Band, which is a red flag, but it held the 50 simple moving average, which is really close. So as long as it stays above the 50, it's still in play, but it's got to bust above the, the middle Bollinger Band, and now we have the 100 at 0 0.041. So if you see the share price break above 0 0.041 on m Monday, that should be the signal that it wants to run higher. If it drops below 0 0.036, that's a signal that it's going to consolidate more. Okay, thank you very much for viewing this, this video. If you'd like to learn more about charts and technical analysis, check us out at mychartcoach.com and our YouTube channel at mychartcoach.com. Thank you.